There are many 12-step programs out there that are very effective. And another brand new 12-step program that does have some differences is called Addictive Eaters Anonymous. And I have here with me today Anna and Maria um, to talk about this 12-step program and how it has helped them recover from addictive eating. So thank you so much, ladies, for, for being with us today and being willing to share your stories. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Amy, for yeah, having it's a, us. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. And I just think you're so brave to, to come on and share you know, what's what's meaningful about your story and how it can help other people. So, thank you. So, um, Anna, would you like to go first, kind of tell us about how Addictive Eaters Anonymous got started and what your story is? Okay, so Addictive Eaters Anonymous started in New Zealand with a group of people who decided that, you know, sobriety and their approach to recovery was something that they wanted to start out and try a new fellowship. And how I came in was uh, when I was young, actually, I was 19 when I first came and I had struggled with my eating since I was about 12. I started out just dieting and exercising and then that went on to starving and binging and binging and vomiting. I was using alcohol. I tried lots of different things to try and get better. I went to therapists and doctors tried different spiritual groups, tried meditation and yoga, um, but nothing seemed to help and my eating was getting worse. So when I came to a 12-step food fellowship, it was just one more thing to try. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I found out that, you know, it was a good solution for me. And Addictive Feeders Anonymous uh, focuses on sobriety from food. So we've found that addiction can switch from one substance to another. Mm -hmm. So to get well means getting off food and alcohol and all other substances as part of what we do. I see, very interesting. So this, this is not just about food, it's about food and any addictive substance that you would take into your body. That's right, we've okay. found, found we've had to get off everything in order to recover. Interesting. Um, what about you, Maria? Tell me a little about your story. Oh, my, my story is, is similar in the sense that I couldn't stop eating. Once I started, I couldn't stop eating. I had been in other 12-step programs, but I could not stop eating while I was in those 12-step programs. And mm -hmm. I remember the power that food had over me. I remember getting up in the morning and say, please, I have to, you know, today's a day I'm going to stop. One more day. I'd wake up like with a hangover from all eating that I had done before, the night before. And I just couldn't stop. And I found a meeting in, not too far from where I lived. And I went to that meeting and I heard recovery. I heard people talking in there about not eating the first bite. And I could relate that like not picking up the mm -hmm. first drink. For somehow, somehow I heard that, and so I met with a woman after a meeting. She shared her story a little bit like um, Anna has just done here. She shared her story, and I remember as she talked, I thought, gosh, I would just like not to be in this turmoil of un being unable to eat. So I started calling her and taking her suggestion. And by doing that little by little, I stopped that addictive eating where now I have freedom. I just eat three meals a day, and I no longer am obsessed with the food. I have a sponsor today. I I'm work the 12 steps of Addictive Eaters Anonymous. We have meetings online once a month with people from other countries that understand the disease of addiction that um, food and other substances. Mm -hmm. So as part of my program, it's not just food, it's other substances. So. It's, my life has changed as a result. That's amazing. Thank, Thank you. you guys for being so brave and willing to share your stories. And I know that many of us can relate. If it's not one addiction, it's another. You mm -hmm. know, There are many of us that could benefit from a 12-step program. So how, how does this program differ from other 12-step programs? Would you like to? Oh, sure. Read? I have the sobriety definition, a part of the sobriety okay. definition, and I'll go ahead and read that. Sobriety in AEA is freedom from addictive eating and all mind-altering substances. As a result of sobriety, AEA members have found recovery from binge eating, anorexia, bulimia, and other forms of addictive eating and a compulsive exercise. Through sobriety, members find peace of mind and the ability to live a meaningful and productive life. 
This may seem surprising to newcomers who believe they only have a problem with food. Over time, we come to realize that food is a symptom of a wider problem, the disease of addiction. We have found that addiction can switch from one substance to another and that addressing all aspects of addiction is essential in finding freedom from addictive eating. Mm, That's I wonderful. think another big difference is that we use the book, uh, the big book from Alcoholics Anonymous, mm -hmm. and we're into the essence of that book. So it's about getting sober, getting free from self, helping others, mm -hmm. and finding a higher power. So, for, for those of us who are not as familiar with 12 step programs as we should be, if we haven't been through one ourselves, maybe we know about the 12 step program, but we don't know what all the steps are. Um, what would you say? would be one of the steps that may, may be most uh, meaningful to you personally? Well, we kind of talked about step one mm -hmm. and coming to realize that we're powerless over food, that we mm -hmm. couldn't beat food, that it mm -hmm. had complete power over me. And then it's about being open and willing to find a higher power because my willpower wasn't able to help me stop. Mm -hmm. um, and that for me came about from listening to people in meetings just being open-minded. Mm -hmm. I'd always believed in a higher power, but I didn't know that there was a God personal to me that could help me stop eating. Um, so that happened for me slowly over time. Mm. And then it's about clearing away the mistakes from our past um, and trying to help others by sharing our stories and going to meetings and being of service. And, and part of that service is sponsoring others who are going through the same thing, right? Yeah. That's wonderful. And what kind of results have people experienced with Addictive Eaters Anonymous? Well, some mm -hmm. of the results is they lose, they, if they lose weight, mm -hmm. you know, they're not compulsively overeating. But more important that, than that is that freedom, because mm -hmm. this is a, a disease that centers in the mind. Mm -hmm. One of the steps is came to believe that a power greater than ourself could restore us to sanity. Mm -hmm. So definitely when, for me, you know, I was always thinking that food was calling me from the refrigerator or mm. was just always on my mind. Mm -hmm. So I come into the program and I learn that I don't have to obey those thoughts and mm. I get help from other people. I can't mm -hmm. do this on my own. Right. So I discover that I need a power greater than myself. And the beautiful thing about the program is I don't have to join any religious, it's not a cult. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have to believe what other people believe in, in the room. I come to believe in a power greater than myself. As, and then the, sec, the next step is we made a decision to turn our will and our life over to the care of God as we understood Him. Mm -hmm. So as a result of that, I, it, it, as I said before, I guess I just keep going back to that, the freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have something going on in your mind all the time, that obsessive thinking, mm -hmm. um, that mental obsession, then you all of a sudden get the freedom um, it's it's life change and it really is and then you have the beauty of sharing that with other people mm -hmm. and you all of a sudden see in them oh my gosh I can do something else in the day besides think about food mm -hmm. you know you discover you you the damage that you've done to other people by not being available mm -hmm. but you could you also start helping other people you bec become more productive in your own family you can help other addictive eaters and see the, the change that is in their mm -hmm. lives and there's mm -hmm. nothing more joyful than that. It, it must be so wonderful to is, be able to yeah. watch people change yes. and become happy and become free of that addiction mm -hmm. and to not only become free for yourself but also you know experience that with someone else. It's got to be there's got to be no feeling like it. Yeah. It's miraculous. Yes. It's miraculous yeah. is the perfect word for it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story and how can people get in touch if they want to join this group? Okay. Well, we have a, we have a website it's um, www.aeaunitedstates.org. We also have um, a couple meetings, one in Los Angeles County and one in Orange County. So okay. go on the website and you will uh, go ahead. The, the meetings will be listed. And then once a month we have a Zoom meeting which connects with people all over the world. Mm. And it's very inspiring to hear people share their recovery. And that's what we try to focus on, our recovery. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you guys so much for thank being on, on the show. And thank you for educating us about something that's really important. Thank you so much for having us, Aunt Amy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amy, it's very much. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs>